بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد continue on in our series about uh, some of the fiqh and ahkam and ahadith related to washing ourselves uh, related to the Juma prayer and this hadith right here is going to illustrate for us the importance of uh, or or the ruling regarding the imam speaking to the to the to the audience that is listening during the Juma prayer and also what is the hukum regarding people speaking back and replying to the imam on jabir ibn abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qala ja'a rajulun wa nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wasallam yukhtub an-nas yawm al-jumu'a fa qala as-salaita ya fulan qala la qala qum fa arka' rak'atayn rawahu bukhari wa muslim wa fi riwayatin fassala rak'atayn fassalli rak'atayn rawahu muslim in this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said that a man came and the Prophet ﷺ was making the khutbah. This is Yom Jumu'ah. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ was speaking to the people during the khutbah, you know, giving the khutbah. And he said, the man was going to sit and the Prophet ﷺ said, or uh, the man sat. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, As-salaita ya fulan, did you pray? So and so, did you pray? And then the man replied to the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, he said, La, he said, no. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, stand up and pray two units of prayer, pray rakatain. <clears throat> and this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, there are immense benefits, as the ulama point out, some of the benefits that the Mashaykh have uh, mentioned, for one, it shows us the permissibility of the khatib addressing someone and speaking uh, to someone during the audience if there is maslaha, if there is benefit in doing so, meaning it's not going to disturb the jumwai. It is something for the benefit of the prayer, for the benefit of the congregation, and what have you. And also, it also illustrates for us that <clears throat> it is also permissible for someone in the audience if there is maslaha, a necessity, you know, some benefit to speak to the imam. So that's something we don't usually know because we know there's other evidences which show us that it's not permissible, that you should <clears throat> not even tell someone to be silent during the prayer, that that can uh, mess your jumwa up. So this hadith right here illustrates, it shows us the beauty of the shara, and that when you look at the evidence, it's not that you just take, you know, for us, with our limited ability, especially if we don't even even have the Arabic language, then we have to re rely on trans translated material. Then we can we don't have access to many 